Hi guys and welcome to another Windows tutorial. Today we're going to look at um, WordPress. So to follow along with these tutorials, what you'll need to go out and get is the following. You will need VMware Player, which you can get from here. If I go to Chrome, you can get from VM from VMware.com version 3.14. You'll also need the turnkey Linux WordPress virtual appliance, which you can get from here. And then what you need to do to, with that is save it somewhere on your computer and unzip it so you've got this and then what you then need to do is if I remove it from the library is open a virtual machine browse to where you have it and open that file like so and also I've got some helpful links oh, wrong button got info on WordPress and if you don't want to go down the virtual machine route what you can do is you can go to wordpress.com and you can basically set up a WordPress blog on there and you can follow along with me on there and also I have one other link which is info about WordPress if you're going to do it my way which is using the virtual appliance So you can have a read through that. It's got loads of documentation. So it's got new to WordPress installation, everything you need. And it's also got showcase, which is different sites made with WordPress. See what you can do with it. And also there's extend, where you can find plugins, themes, and ways to make your blog mobile. Once you've downloaded VMware Player, added the virtual machine to VMware Player, as I just showed you, what you'll need to do is power it on, and I'll put all these links in the bottom of the video, by the way. So let's go ahead and power on the virtual machine. Right, so this is just the Ubuntu server booting up first thing you need to do is click inside the virtual machine and enter a password for the root account on the server. And you'll need to remember this just in case you ever need to log into it for any reason. So I'm going to set a root password. Hit return, confirm it. Hit return again. Now you need to set a password for the MySQL root account. This is different to the one we just set because this is for the database that WordPress uses to store pages and comments and posts in. Set ideally a different password, but you can use the same password, which is what I'm going to do here. And confirm it again. Now you've got into a password for the WordPress admin account. So I'm going to make this and again and hit return. Now you've got to enter a email address for the admin account for WordPress. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. Just hit apply for this for the example one. You don't have to worry about this. This is just if you have a, if you use the um, Turnkey Linux or the Turnkey Hub. I mean, I'm, I don't use it, and so you know, just click skip. If you want to, you can go ahead and do security updates because I'm going to be a good example. I'll do it now because I've got fast broadband as well. So now you see the server go off and get the updates. Admittedly, I will 
skip through this and I'll just get rid of this never remind me thing okay so now it's finished installing all the updates you'll see you're at the turnkey Linux configuration console the first thing we want to do is change the IP address from DHCP to static so what I'm going to do is tap A for advanced click on tap on networking go to static IP hit return and give it an IP address and that's all correct for me so there we go hit apply and there we go so go back to the main screen oh, no. <laughs> okay so now we've seen we can see that the IP address is updated and we've got all these different links here if I can bring the mouse out we've got web so that's how we get to the WordPress web shell I'll show you that that is so what was that I it was 12320. If you're doing this in Chrome, you'll get this, and if you're doing it in Text Explorer, it's something similar, just proceed, it's fine. And you'll see you've got WordPress login. So root and the password is the password you set up earlier so for me and there you go what you'll notice is when you log in here you don't get the same thing that you do here which is this console but you can get that in here type in conf console and then you get that although you can't I can't read it on my screen but there we go, so I'm going to hit A and quit to come out of here, yes and exit to log out so that's what that is what else have you got? Ooh, they don't want to do that <laughs> so we've got webmin which is also quite important so if we go to HTTPS the IP address and then 12321 which is the port number one, two, three, two, one. So the username and password for this is root and the password that you set up earlier. So this is webmin. What you can probably do while you're in here is go to webmin, webmin configuration, upgrade webmin and latest version from webmin.com and yeah we'll leave it like that upgrade webmin and you'll see there's a newer version here so it's going to download all the bits and pieces it needs for me and it's going to go off and install it now for us right so we could return we'll see that we've got the new version now which is 1.550 what you can do from here is you can configure a um, few things or you can shut down and reboot the um, server from the bottom here and you can also do software upgrades like I did just now so if you have software packages and then upgrade right okay so I think this is it for this really there's not much else to show you unless I need to later on and the one last thing you need to see is the FT, FTP access to the virtual machine which I'll show you using FileZilla which is there right so the host is you can see the IP address username is root and the password is what you set up earlier And the port is 22. 
and then it will say, well, you do want to trust this host and carry on. I'm going to say OK. So what I can do from here is if I go back to where I was meant to be, which is in root, I can drag stuff over to the virtual machine. So for example, that VMware player document that I made earlier. Let's delete that off there. Yes. So let's go and dive into WordPress. So we need to go to the web address of the virtual machine, which I'll do here. Get rid of that and get rid of all that. Right, so here is your WordPress site. It's pretty bland and there's not much there. So let's go ahead and log in. Right, so you remember the password for WordPress, well, the username is admin, and the password is what you set up earlier. Right, so the first thing you need to do is go ahead and run some updates. The first major one will be WordPress 3.1.3 or whatever is out when you're watching this. Right, so you've got two options here to update WordPress. You can upgrade automatically, which I'm going to show you, or you can just download it and install it yourself. However, it's probably best to do the automatic upgrade, so I'll show you here. Right, okay, so that's pretty quick, simple, done. If you go back to the dashboard, we'll see we still have 11 more updates to do. So you can see you have all these ones that want to be upgraded, so I'm going to do select all and update plugins. And now WordPress will start updating them for us. Okay, so that's it, it's done all the updates. And I think we'll end the tutorial here. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to give your WordPress blog its own name and tagline, and also how to add some users. That's it for this tutorial. Look out for more coming soon.